Hello friends, welcome back. This is the Smart Excel, and this video is the third video in the series of full mocks. So please refer to my previous two videos where we can have full mocks for the things for the criteria, criteria which are <clears throat> having no applications, not available, not applicable. So this is the previous video, just I'm giving a recap. So this is my third video on this. So what actually means is whenever something is not applicable, when you have things which are not applicable, the system should give a full mark on the weightage. So this is the weightage. I should get up in a full marks on this. For that, I have written a formula. So this formula is, if I remove this S, it's a, this is a if condition formula. But if there's several criteria, as I showed you, this area has not applicable. The total over here should differ. So whenever we have some total, if not applicable, the sum will be is well, if it is a zero, then the sum will be the same one. But if the if we have not applicable, the things should vary. So if it is if if and if I want to make something else and if I want to make a formula, it doesn't really help. See, you can see I am not getting help from the screen tips because this is a plural. So if we are having a plural, you should have a ifs. So when I hit this ifs and then when I put a comma, when I put this ifs and when I put this when I put this ifs and when I put enter. So you can see the formula is same, but here I can get the things which I require. So I'm going to remove this parenthesis. Then you can see there is screen tip. The same thing if I have done in when it was an if. And if I remove this parenthesis, now it is going to value for false because it's a if condition. But I am not going to fix it here when it is a false, so I have to have multiple conditions. So I'm going to make this as a ifs. And you can see in if you can see logical test, uh, logical test value if true. And again, you can have a logical test. And if you go, if you make it as ifs, you can see that logical test is true and value if it is false so only only one option option is there if it's true and false but whenever i make an if so here you can see the screen tips also changes the value of true and again i can add more logical values so this is a logical test one and this is going to be logical test two so if you see not applicable it doesn't have is not applicable even once so if it is zero it will take the same total but again if i'm going to write the same formula copy the same formula i'm going to say control c and control v and i'm going to say that if not applicable is zero it is the same it will be the same but if not applicable is equals to one if you are having one time not applicable in this, then what I'm going to do is in the score I want to have add 25. So the three will have the same value, but I am going to take this as 25. I'm keeping this same as 25. In the next video, I'll be changing this. So that will be more complicated. So I'll be doing this as if it is one, then the sum. Control C, Control V, plus plus 25. So I think now it makes sense. If counted applicable zero times, then the same value. You can see that it will be the same. But if counted applicable, not applicable is for one time, then the sum will add 25 extra. So. So you can see now, now if I'm going to add one not applicable and I'm going to evaluate this. 
Okay, so let's see the total. If actually it was normal formula, the total should be 42.5. But when we have added in this formula, so this is a this is a uh, screen When this is zero, so it is giving full marks. So it is giving 25 marks full marks to this. And then the total is getting as 67.5. So if you go with this total, let me try this up. The total is 45, 42.5, but this is not justifiable total. But if you go with the full total, oh, let me remove this. If you go with justifiable total, then it is going to be 67.5. Now, if I want to add one more, if, I, if there are countable, uh, not applicable is equal to two times. So if it is going to be two times, how it is going to be valid. So I'm going to copy this again. Copy till here. Control C. Then, then I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to paste this. And see now, if count if. So this is finished. So this is a new one, new if condition. F22 not equal is equal to two times. Then. The sum should the sum over here should be. I will copying the same sum. Control C, and I'm going to paste this. But if it is two times, then it should be it should be adding again 25 plus 25, so it will be like 50. So let's see some count. If. Okay, let me remove this parenthesis over here. It doesn't end there. So that is the reason. The value of true logical test is this, and the value of true is this. And then if I hit enter, okay, now the answer is same. But now if I make one more not applicable, suppose I make this one as a not applicable. Okay, let me evaluate this. Okay, as per the normal trending, the score should be 32.5. But now what is happening is there is no not applicable two times here and here, first and the last. So it will add a score of 50. So it is going to go with this criteria. So it is adding 50. So the score is coming as 32.5 plus 50. 50 is 82.5. The score is adding as 50. So it is coming with total 82.5. So now if I want, if not applicable is three times. So let me remove this first. It is not ending over here. So we will put a comma. And I am going to copy the county formula again. Control C. Control V. And make this into three. And I'll put a comma. Well, if it's true, then it will be like I have to copy this. Control C. Or I can copy this also. I will copy in this because it's more easy. So it is the same one and the same. Control C. Control V. Sum. So now if it is three times, I have to add. 75 because 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75. So I'll be making this as 75. And I'll be closing the parenthesis and hitting enter. So nothing has been changed. Now I'll make this three times, not applicable. And I will evaluate this. So you can see that. Uh, you can see that. <clears throat> It is going to be calculated 75 plus 75 plus 75. So total will be 95 plus 22.5. I hope you got this video more useful and I hope you find this entertaining. And uh, I would like you help. Uh, if you have any questions, you can give me your comments. And I would like to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this.